Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is Chrisanne and it's nice to see you guys after such a long time. I took a break but I'm trying to upload as often as possible and to welcome my back mess or my return to my channel. Here is a reaction video which I haven't done in a while. So this is 17's Maestro and I'm really excited because I've been a carrot already for like three years and I really love their music and I'm so 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 excited for this. I resisted all temptation to watch it on TikTok, on YouTube, wherever because I wanted to see it first before I learned the dance and I'm so excited because I saw the footwork and I was just like, I want to do it. So anyway, here we go. Um, I have zero expectations. I already know what it sounds like roughly, but let's go. Let's go. <gasps> it, this is so weird because it's like very futuristic, right? It's very, it's dark teen. I, I predicted this before that after God of Music, it would be dark teen again. <gasps> oh my gosh! Who's the AI? They said this sets like AI elements. It sounds like Adore You. Oh my gosh, Ruzi. Gosh, the choreo! Woo, how? Go, Wano! Finally seeing actor Wanu. Accelerando is like a music term. They have so many music terms in here, it's so crazy. I thought it was done. <gasps> Who's that? I did not expect this. Oh my god, this is the Oh my gosh! Oh my god, and the fact that there's a metronome at the back, did you guys notice that? Wait. Who is the real maestro? 
I love everything about it. I mean, they've been teasing it for a long time. And the fact that they performed it in their previous concert, it's just a big, like, for me personally, I think it's a marketing ploy just so that people will listen to their, look at their music video and see it. So um, this is set in like a post-apocalyptic era. And if me, the geek, um, I really, really like how they went this way compared to their last album, which was God of Music, which was more like light and everything. And now they're like, more of like in the time that we have now because there's AI and there's like so many things that are like um, interfering with like human ability to do things. It really makes you think. So this kind of video makes you think about those things. Like especially like who is the real maestro? Is it human or is it AI? And in the same way, they're like showing how there are things that AI can do, but there was a part there where like the machine kind of glitched and it wasn't working anymore. Or, like there were glitches throughout the music video. So it just showed that humans are the ones who are able to control more or like at the same time, they can do other things that AI can't. And it's just really interesting to see that aspect, especially in the last part when they changed up the tempo. If you see them like, um, kind of hinted throughout the music video like they're changing up the tempo in the end um, they change up the beat and they make it totally different from the beginning because you can see elements of like they're being controlled by the AI at first but after that they break free from that and that's where they change the beat up to 64 64 beats I think if I recall correctly and if you notice there's the metronome so in the sense I would also match it up to 17 being able to match to the beat of their own drum like they're they're the kind of group that they create their own trend or they don't really specifically follow a trend they're they create their creators in that way so it's it's just very interesting and i really like how the metronome was at the end and considering this is such a great great album because this album is the best of 17 so best of everything they've ever created since the beginning so you can see they're like the maestro of their own careers in the sense i mean i'm looking really deep into it but that's what reactions are for so yeah there i really enjoyed it i love the futuristic elements i've been waiting for 17 to do something very futuristic a lot of uh younger or other groups do a lot of futuristic stuff and 17 that was never really their thing but i'm really glad that they stepped into it and made it their own especially with a song like this because it does speak more than just music it's also speaking about like who you are as a person all those things because when you think about post-apocalyptic it's very simple but they kind of look like conductors in a sense and i really like that and it's interesting that during the beginning hoshi kind of glitched a bit so you can tell that he might be ai or he might be like not real in that sense each of the members were given a highlight like specific parts. Woozy really stole my attention uh, with his blonde hair and he, his part with like the music in the background that was really cool. Then there's also uh, Hoshi Dino. Hoshi Dino Woozy How. How's part is really cool and also Wanu's action scene was really cool but um, I'd say like Sunkon and Jongan really like stole a lot of attention for me. Although yes, the others are visuals like Jong-An, really, I really love the scene and how with the violin was really, really cool. Fun fact, I used to play violin before, so I just kind of connected to that scene. <laughs> this is such a great music video. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I miss doing reaction videos, so just more videos for me to react to because, you know, this is like a really great way for me to distress and like just express myself. And yeah, I hope you guys can support Seventeen's comeback, Maestro. Please view their music video on their YouTube channel and support them and also support the comeback and if you have any suggestions do comment it please don't forget to subscribe to me and click that notification and i will see you hopefully <laughs> next time